Excellency and the President, Mr. Adama Barrow, Honorable Ministers, Secretary to Cabinet, Permanent Secretaries and Heads of Departments and other institutions, Presidential Advisors, Ambassadors and all Heads of Diplomatic Missions in the country, Security Chiefs and other security details, National Assembly members, Regional Governors and their deputies, Chairman Brikama Area Council and Councillors, District Sefolu and Alkalolus, and uh, religious leaders, all residents of the West Coast region, and all invited guests with all other protocols duly and ob observed. Good afternoon to you all. It's my pleasure and privilege to give the welcome remarks on this auspicious occasion of the opening of this magnificent Sokuta Jambanjeli Road. I therefore wish to warmly welcome and thank His Excellency and his team for being with us today after coming from the URR on over a week of similar activities. Today, it's the turn of the West Coast region to, to officially receive this first class dual carriage which not only links Sukuta and Jambanjeli, but also passing through very important and rapid growing centers and settlements within the Kombo North District and linking Kombo South District. The importance of good road network and the need for it, especially in this region, cannot be overemphasized. This road will solely bring rapid development to our transport system that is much needed to support the national economic and social developments, not only for the West Coast region, but for the entire country. As you are already aware, that close to 37% of the total population of this country reside in the West Coast region. And this is growing by the day. And if we have to go by the growth rate of West Coast region, from the census of 2003 to two census of 2013, it's growing at a rate of about 76%. That means we, on predictions, we can, one can safely say that by the next census, West Coast will hit at least one million people in population. So this road is without doubt one of the most welcome developments and the benefits of which, will, among others, will include quicker and more convenient access to the markets by our farming community, especially women farmers, is now assured. Health facilities can also be easily reached during emergencies, and people can definitely get to their work of places or businesses quicker and safer. These are just a few benefits of this important uh, good, public good that the government is delivering to us today, and we are indeed grateful. Mr. President, I hope this region will continue to enjoy such developments, especially in the infrastructure sector. And in that respect, let me remind you about the road linking Brikama to the airport Johnson, which has already started to become a nightmare, during, especially during the morning hours. Having mentioned some of the important benefits of a good road network, we should be reminded about what a reckless or an unattentive use of the road can also result to. We are witnessing too many accidents these days, and the irony is that all these things are happening on good roads. Road accident is becoming a national hazard, and it does not only stop at individual deaths and injuries, but also brings great grief to related families. It's in that vein that I wish to urge all who will be using this road to do so with care and with their undivided attention and above all, respect all traffic signs on this road. Uh, uh, let us all remember the common advice that the life you save may be your own life. And with these few remarks, I want to thank all of you for your presence and kind attention. Thank you very much.